Hi and welcome again to K9P4.com. Today we're going to just be going through the setup and unboxing of your dual view microscope. So your microscope will come in a box like this and we're just going to go ahead and get all the items out and show you how to get it set up. So we'll just need to cut alongside the middle of the styrofoam to get all the contents out. So here will be the contents. It's going to be mostly set up already but we will just need to do some setup with the LCD screen and also the eyepieces. So in the major piece we're just going to have the base, the, the light source pre-installed, the different objective lens pre-installed, the fine and coarse adjustments and the mechanical stage. We'll go over that a little bit more in detail with the using the microscope training video. So then to install the head with the binocular lenses we're just going to place it on top like that and then tighten down the set screw until it's firmly in place. It should only take a couple turns. Next we're going to install the LCD screen so to do that we'll take the cap off of the top here. Next we're going to install the LCD screen. This is going to come boxed separately so we're just going to take out the screen its power cables and then included with the package contents of the microscope itself is going to be a coupler or fitting which attaches the LCD screen vertically into this chamber. We will take that out. It looks similar to your eyepieces just notice how it's a much longer then the actual eyepieces and can be screwed in to the base. So we'll next remove the cap on the base here. Place it on top and twist it clockwise until tight. We'll next remove the cap on top. Remove the plastic packaging off the top of the LCD screen and simply slide in. Remember that the LCD screen needs to be powered separately from the microscope so you will need to apply power to it before it will turn on. And to do that we just plug into the DC jack on the bottom of the right hand side. And then to a 120 volt AC power source. The next step we will do after that is to remove the caps for the ocular lens eyepieces. You will have to install the eyepieces and you have two different sets to choose from. The first set is going to be a magnification. Of 16 and these just slide into there and now they are ready to be viewed through. And the other set and the other longer set is going to be the 10 times magnification. So using the smaller eyepiece is actually going to get you more magnification than the longer one but we will demo both of them in tandem. Now after you've removed the plastic packaging from the mechanical stage and also the packaging over the lens and also the packaging over the light source and the objective lens then we remove the plastic wrap from the mechanical stage Carefully puncture it with a scissors or a knife and just peel the rest off. There's also a covering over the aperture. We want to be sure not to scratch these. Anything with the lens we should be very careful to avoid getting scratches or dust on it. So once not in use, please put them away into a plastic bag and somewhere safe.
Okay, so everything is now unpackaged and installed. Next, all we have to do is plug the microscope and LCD screen into a power source. So plug the power cable into the back of the microscope. Notice how the circle is the offsetting and the line is the onsetting. For purposes of demonstration today, we are going to use our battery backup power supply. This will run your equipment safely and for many, many hours of use. This can be found on K9P4.com. You can also plug it simply into any standard wall outlet. It's 120 volt, 50, 60 hertz. If you're not sure what that is, that's what you have coming out of your residential wall or business. Now you are finished with the setup and ready to view slides and specimens. Thanks for watching this video.